Hey, good morning. Here is uh, an assignment help for university physics students. And this question talks about two cars, both of mass M, colliding and sticking together. Now, prior to the collision, one car had been traveling north at a speed 2V, while the second was traveling at a speed V at an angle phi south of east as indicated in the figure. After the collision, the two-car system travels at a speed V final at an angle theta east of north. So, uh, you have one car coming down with a velocity V at an angle phi. The other car, having exactly the same mass, is moving with a velocity 2V perfectly along the north direction and then after collision they stick together and they move along an angle theta and that's the angle made with the north direction now there are a couple of quantities that we need to calculate first it says find the component of velocity in the east-west direction component of the final velocity in the east-west direction, which would be along this direction, right? So we're going to use the law of conservation of momentum because we know that whatever the final velocity is along the east-west direction should have been whatever the initial momentum was along the same direction. So you just have to take the initial momentum along the east-west. And what's the initial momentum along the east-west? This one has no contribution because it's completely along the north. So the only contribution comes from this. Along this direction, that is the adjacent side. So that's going to be the cost component. Therefore, it's going to be mass times its velocity cos phi, which should be the final momentum along the east-west direction. Okay, what about the component of final velocity in the north-south direction? It's the same type of argument. Along the north-south direction, uh, this is going to have a component which is going to be straight down, straight down. But this one has an exactly opposite momentum. Now what's the momentum of this? It's its mass times 2V. What's the momentum of this? MV sine phi. But because it's in the opposite direction, the final momentum is going to be 1 minus the other. So it's going to be 2 times the mass of this car times its velocity minus mv sine phi. It's negative because this component is straight down. That would be the final momentum along the north-south direction. How can you find the, we'll call this px and we'll call this py. How can you find the velocities? Just divide them by the final mass. What do we know about the final mass? That they stick together. So what's the total mass? It's 2 times m so if you divide this momentum by 2 times m, you're going to get the velocity, final velocity. So final velocity along the east-west is this first quantity divided by... That gives you v cos phi by 2 because you're dividing by 2m. Alright, divide by 2 times the mass. Why 2 times the mass? Because they stick together and the total mass is 2m. Do the same for the other one. This is going to become just V. And the second quantity, when you divide by 2 times the mass, is V by 2 sine phi. Let's call those velocities uh, V final x and V final y. Now, how do you find the final velocity? Because you have two components at right angles to each other, 
to find the final velocity, you're going to square them up, add them, take the square root. Okay, so it's just math now. You got to square these two quantities, 1 and 2. Got to be careful. The first term when you square it is b squared by 4, cos squared 5. The second term has 2 in it. And you have to use the formula a minus b whole squared is a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. That will give you three terms, which will be v squared minus 2 times the product of these two plus the square of this term, which is what I've written now. But you can take out b squared by 4 common, and then you have cos squared 5 plus sine squared 5, which is 1. Okay, so v squared by 4, and you have cos squared 5 plus sine squared 5 is 1. So that's why you get just v squared by 4. And then you have the second term, v squared here, which I'm writing. And then you have the third term, which is this one. And uh, next is, you can add these two. You're going to get 5v squared by 4 minus this term. You, we could try to take out some common factors outside in the next step. So V final is I've taken out square root of V squared by 4 square root of V squared by 4 which is V by 2. Let's go back take a look at it the last step. See, I've taken out V squared by 4 and then you have this term, okay? That's why it's like that now. That's why you get v by 2, which is square root of v squared by 4, 5 minus 4. So I had to multiply inside with 4. Now to take the tan theta, you have to be very careful this time. Tan is always opposite side by hypotenuse. In this case, it's going to be the x component divided by the y component. It's the x divided by the y. So that is v by 2 cos phi divided by v minus v by 2 sine phi. Yeah, to find theta, you just take the arctan of that but we could also simplify. I'm dividing each term by v by 2. I'm dividing each term by v by 2. So the v by 2 here gets cancelled. Here you get v divided by v by 2. 2 goes to the top. Here v by 2 get cancelled. Okay, so theta is arctan of that quantity. Well, I thought you would uh, struggle a little bit in finding the answers to this. So I have put it up. I uh, hope you have understood how I worked them out. And this is an important question. Uh, keep looking for some more answers. And if you appreciate what I'm doing, share it. Because these ones come with the questions and it could be useful for anybody out there in the world. Thank you.